Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about reporting services or databases. So there are two databases. We will learn about them. One is called a report server or database. A report server database is a database which is used to store metadata and definition of objects used by the report server. The other database the reporting services are used is called report server temp DB. That database is, is created with the report server database. It stores uh, information uh, related to the temporary data, sessions information, and a cached report. Um, so let me go take you to the those uh, databases and show you how these databases can be created or uh, can be used uh, if they already exist. Um, so let's go to the SQL Server Reporting Services uh, Configuration Manager. Now there are two options uh, we have uh, here uh, so first of all once we come to the database we will click chain database uh, we can create a new data uh, databases uh, or we can use the existing uh, let me tell you one thing uh, if uh, you have installed the reporting services uh, on one machine uh, you can use the SQL server instance uh, on the same machine which will hold your reporting services databases or uh, you can have a SQL Server installed on any other machine and you can use that. So here it does not, the report service and databases doesn't have to be on the same machine. They can be on different machines. Let's click on the create a new report server database and walk uh, through the steps. So first of all, it will ask us, provide us the server name. Let's say if we provide the same server name, we have already the database there but I would like to just provide you provide the name and say next and uh, this is the database name it is going to use if I do next it is telling me okay the database report server already exists there so fine I don't really need to create new one as it is already there so we can go back and let's say if I go here I would like to choose the existing one so I can click here and then provide the server name then click next and select the report server database once I select this one it is it will ask me okay what uh, authentication you would like to use username password and then I provide that information and hit next so it will configure this is fairly easy uh, step um, if you don't have the database is fine you can create or if you have it you can start utilizing them in our case, uh, let me show you one more thing here. Let's say it's going to take some time. Let, let it refresh as we have uh, uh, reconfigured our service to use the existing database. Uh, so I'm going to come back here in a second. Now, there are uh, certain objects uh, we can use uh, from these databases. Uh, so I have put them together. And uh, the two databases uh, are uh, really important. Uh, the temporary database we really don't need to uh, go into details and tables and all that but uh, the report server database contain uh, some objects uh, they are very helpful dbo catalog is one of them and it contains information related to home folder subfolder reports uh, data sets uh, data sources uh, and report definition so let's go ahead and take a look on that one so here are our two databases uh, which are used by the reports uh, reporting service uh, and the report server is the database actually we would like to look first uh, let's check the temp db and take a look on some of the tables so these are the tables uh, available in the report server temp db you do not need to truncate or delete anything um, you can just uh, leave them as it is but let's go to the report server now go to tables and uh, catalog and as we know that it has a lot of information and uh, report uh, sorry item ID is the unique ID and then we have path where it has a blank it means home then it has a folders so data sources is folder so under the data sources folder we have DS sales that's our data source we have sales that's our second data source we have data sets folder and under that one we have D set sales data set then we have dev reports folder and then we have further subfolders and report under that from here you can take a, a look on the names for uh, those reports data sets or data sources uh, let me take you back to the interface and here under the data sources uh, we can see that uh, we have uh, ds sales and sales uh, the same thing we see right uh, here as i have shown you guys uh, and if you go to the reports uh, 
So let's say we go to home and go to the dev reports and all different folders can be seen here. The same thing you see right here. So you have a HR report, sales report, and then further reports are under them. Now, one other uh, column is called content. This uh, stores uh, the definition as image you can convert to the var binary and uh, that's how you can take a look uh, on the report definition and other objects uh, definition there are other uh, uh, columns uh, you would like to see property this has some information there are parameter and uh, there are different other columns uh, you can have it uh, you can also see um, what time uh, this was created or modified or modified the date and all those kind of information you can see from here now let's go ahead and take a look on the next uh, table we have dbo data sources so this has uh, information related to the data sources so let's go ahead and select some records from here and we have a ds id so this is id we have item id so and then we have a ds name and uh, from here we can link back uh, to the DBO catalog uh, and uh, if you see here we have uh, item ID here as well and we have parent, parent ID so we can use uh, different uh, columns from here and join them back uh, so all those can, uh, questions can be answered let's say we would like to know which uh, report is using which data source uh, or uh, which report is using which data set uh, so all those uh, questions can be answered by joining catalog with the data source uh, table we have data sets table let's go ahead and take a look this stores uh, data set information and we can see that uh, this is the name of our data set uh, if we link back to the catalog uh, we can uh, tell which report is using uh, or reports are using these uh, data sets uh, let's go to the our word document uh, we have dbo subscription um, this is store information related to the subscription such as sub description last status even type uh, parameters and del delivery extension um, so there are we are going to create different uh, subscriptions and i will show you the information in this uh, table there is other table called dbo schedule and from here you can see which schedules are available so you have created some schedule to run uh, your subscriptions you can get information from this uh, table let's go back to the t database and uh, there is history table yeah you can get some information uh, from there there is a users uh, table you can get information from there so you can see that which users are added uh, to the uh, report server uh, um, and you have provided some permissions and all those kind of things and uh, also there let me show you there are roles so these roles are you can see from here these are the role names and the description and all that and uh, you can see different uh, events uh, and uh, there are a lot of other uh, batch audit and all different tables are there so uh, to be straightforward I use the mostly catalog data sources data sets uh, DBO subscription DBO the uh, schedule and uh, history sometime and uh, all of these queries uh, and uh, I don't have them with me right now uh, but uh, you can just google it and find out okay give me all the reports uh, uh, used uh, in the folder you know from us from uh, report server or uh, give me the data sources and names uh, used by the reports uh, uh, in the report server uh, database uh, so you, all those queries are on the google you can just uh, uh, search it and you will find answers uh, for your questions uh, the just uh, one more thing uh, it is really hard part like okay if you have to drill through each of those uh, folders and uh, get the report names or data sets name or data sources name this information uh, is really helpful when it comes to uh, you can come to the report server database and get that information right away with one query so these uh, database are the database or central databases used by the reporting services and uh, you can get any information uh, whatever you have on the report server side thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in next video